Hello and welcome to Spirant Axon. In this short video, we will cover all the essential elements in Axon so that you feel 100% confident in starting to use Axon to analyze and improve your network performance and reliability. If you have just unboxed your brand new Axon, all you have to do is apply the power cable and connect your Mac or PC to the Axon via the wired admin port. The wired admin port is pre-configured to use DHCP. If you are using a PC, you should be able to see the Axon when you browse your network. If not, you may need to look up its IP address on your DHCP server. If you would rather use Axon's Wi-Fi access point, the SSID is, by default, Axon dash and the host ID number which you can find on the back of your Axon. The default Wi-Fi password is Axonomist. That's A-X-O-N-O-M IST, all lowercase. Use your browser to connect and, once connected, you will need to log in. The default username is admin and the default admin password is admin, all lowercase. Now that you are logged in, we can really get rolling. You will land on the dashboard where you can see a list of tests in the test library and your favorite tests and recent results. To run your first test, just click the Run a Test button. Tests in Axon are categorized as infrastructure, device, and application tests. Just select the type of test you want to perform. If you are unsure, you can select Advanced Search and answer a few questions that will guide you to the right tests. Next, you will see a list of tests in the category you selected. You can select different tests in the category and read the brief description to ensure the selected test is the one you want to run. And when you have the right test, just click the select button. If you're familiar with a media player such as iTunes or Winamp, you'll be immediately familiar with the Axon Traffic Player. You just need to set up the media that you want to play on your network and where you want that traffic to flow. First things first. Select the axons that you want to use for transmit and receive of the traffic. It is possible to use a single axon for both send and receive, and that's what we're going to show here, so I'll leave the axon selector set to local chassis. Next, select the ports that you want to run the test with. For transmit, I will select port 4, the leftmost port, and for receive, I will select port 3. My axon is wired from port 4 through a couple of switches and back into port 3. In order for IP traffic to run between each endpoint, each port has to have a valid IP configuration. From the endpoints list, I can see all of the default endpoint configuration options. To keep things simple for this test, I'm just going to use the default V4, TX, and RX endpoint configurations. Just drag and drop each endpoint config. While I could have specified the configuration manually, this saves a lot of time and the possibility of mistyping. Just a couple of configuration options left to set. If I look at my playlist here, I can see the tracks in the playlist. I can select from a list of other available tracks for this type of test and simply drag and drop them into my playlist, or I can just as easily remove tracks from my playlist. As another time saver, I can also take a look at pre-configured playlists. I can just drag and drop a playlist to swap out my current playlist with a pre-configured one. If there are any other configuration options for this type of test, I will see those below the playlist. Here I have minimum and maximum bandwidth settings for this test. The test will start at the minimum I set here and ramp up to the maximum. Here's a tip for you. If you set the minimum value higher than the maximum value, the test will ramp traffic down instead. The last thing to configure for this test is the test duration. That's it. I can run the test right now using the play button. As you can see here, traffic is starting to flow and I can start looking at the results such as response time, latency, and jitter all in real time. The interpretation of the results of this test and how to use those results to ensure your network is optimally tuned is a subject for another video. One last thing, if you like this test and you want to save it as is so you can run it again at a later time, just click the save button. 
give your test a name, decide whether you want it to show up in your favorites list in the dashboard, and click OK. It couldn't be easier. If you have any comments or questions, please feel free to contact us by email at axon at